Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Drew, aka Maestro. Look, I hope you guys have had a very Merry Christmas. Hope y'all have enjoyed the holiday, you know, with your family, with your friends, uh, even enemies, you know. Uh, and I also hope that you are getting ready to have a great new year. It's been a crazy year, crazy ride, interesting year, challenging times and things in that nature for a lot of people, a lot of different areas. Uh, but one thing is certain, God is still on the throne. He's still good. He's been great. He's maintained us. He's kept us. He's helped us. And uh, those who know who still may be going through things, you know, just pray for them. You know, we're going to keep people lifted and uh, we're going to watch God work. Right. Look, I'm just trying to get back on the grind, trying to get out some more tutorial videos. I just want to get on here and chat with you all for a little bit. And um, I hope everyone is doing well, doing great. Look, if it's your first time, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and smash the like button. We appreciate that over here, all right? We appreciate that. <laughs> so, uh, so look, anyhow, uh, I'm going to do another tutorial video. Let's get into it, and uh, we're going to continue going from there. Bless you guys. All right, what's going on now? See it, play it, family. Let's get into this. Uh, into this music. Um, this was a request. It is uh, Stephen Manders' uh, adoration. It starts off in the key of E flat. But it modulates um, a couple of times. I think uh, we're going to end up in the key of F sharp. So, E flat. Remember your scale for E flat? It's a major scale. Um, and this song is, is a major theme. So, let's get right into it. Um, going to do my best to kind of show you guys. I, I have never heard this song before until learning it for this uh tutorial today so um i do my best to you know excuse me for any mistakes i'm gonna have to stop and go back this and any other but uh i'm doing my best to give it to you guys uh break it down uh it's a beautiful song great worship song let's get right into it like i said key of e flat we've come to give him glory honor praise and adoration Come on, decree. Be all glory. So, I'll start right there. Give you what what's going on in the beginning. So, the intro is pretty much what they do in the song. We've come to give them glory, honor, praise, and adoration. Come on. So the notes you have got a B flat, We've come to give them glory. E flat. So you got B flat, E flat, F, G, C, F, G. You walk into this chord. Walk into this F minor chord. C, F, G, F minor on top of an F, C, F, A flat, then you go 
basically an A flat major chord. A flat my bass, E flat, A flat, C, to a B flat, B flat major chord, D, E, B flat, I mean D, F, B flat, on top of a D. Then you go back to a, uh, you go to a G in your bass and an E flat major chord. Then you go to the four. And this is basically a suspended chord. You can play it uh, on an A flat. You can play an A flat, B flat, and an E flat. I even add that B flat in there again sometimes up here. But it's, that's basically what it is, a suspended, a suspended chord. Right? So, once you play the intro, you go into the song. I don't really know the words, <laughs> per se. So, um, like I said, this is my first time hearing the song. First part is a We O Glory, they're playing a E flat major. And then you can, I'm just playing the melody a little bit with them. They hit this F. Then I play this chord. There's an A flat major chord. Still on the E flat in the bass. C, E flat, A flat to the E flat major. B flat, E flat, G. They go to six. You got a C in your bass, and then you play a B flat major chord in your uh, your right hand. F B flat D. I'm playing a C and a G in my right. I mean my left, as you can see. So, uh, and before you, you see, I hit this F before I hit that B flat major chord. So I, I went and I slid off the B, the D flat to a D. And, uh, Next chord, with transition chord, very common. So I'm playing in my left hand. I'm gonna play a B flat, F, A flat, and in my right hand I'm playing a C, C sharp, F, A flat, which is a C major seven. C sharp major seven. I'm sorry. So you got we glory. Next chord After that chord I'm playing a G C E G Which is a C major chord On top of a E flat chord, uh, E flat bass But I'm playing E flat B flat And E flat Then playing this, uh, you got an A flat in your bass and an E flat, and then your right hand you got an F G B flat E flat. Now in the beginning you don't really hear them play that transition, but I play it through the whole song because that's what they're doing on that. Uh, let me show you real quick. Or they playing it real light. So now and uh I will do is a another uh six in the bass and a F B a B flat major chord in my my right hand. But then I play this E diminished seven and this inversion, B flat, C sharp, E, G. With the E in my bass. Now here is the theme that we do a lot in basically the theme of this song. This part right here. That F, same thing you do at the beginning. F, A flat major to a B flat major. That's uh, 
G, A flat, B flat, then you quickly go hit this E flat, D, back to the E flat. But you hit on that B flat, you hit a G, then you go to the A flat, A flat, the four. And I'm playing an A flat, E flat, A flat. And then you play this. You want that right there uh if i'm playing by myself i probably wouldn't play that part but um if you got a band or something like that that's uh so they doing a d e flat b flat They do a so B D E flat B flat C A flat G C B flat A flat. And they walk down to this G, but when they get back to this G, they back to the one. second time so right there they when they do that you're going to play this here this is a, a play a, B6 flat 9 but you're gonna have a uh, B I'm playing a B F sharp in my left and I'm playing a A flat C sharp E flat A flat in my right and pretty much a chromatic movement going down that's what I do right there get to the second chord got a b flat got a f g d g i let go of that that c matter of fact i do the same thing on the on the front i'm sliding from a c sharp to the e flat on the top chord so i'm sorry i'm not playing that chord i'm actually playing this chord b major six but i'm sliding from the c sharp to the e flat Same thing, chromatically. I slide to the D. And then I play a G minor 7. You got a G, D. Then I got a G, B flat, D, F. And then that. You hear them do that? Real quick movement. So you're going to play a. On an A in the bass, you play a B, D, F. Or, uh, let's see. Actually, that's what I do. So I pretty much keep the formation of this chord, but I I slide off the B flat to this F when I hit that A, and then go to the transition chord. change here same thing as the beginning same thing as the beginning then we 
gonna change. So you go to an F, pretty much an F major chord. See that on top of an A. Then you go to the five. You got a B flat, B flat major chord. Go to an E flat major chord. So what they're doing here, when you make this change, you go to an E flat major chord on top of a G. Then you can use this passing chord to get back to the four. So I'm playing an E flat, basically a, a G, C, C sharp, F. Then when you get here, they're doing a... Uh, That's the movement. So, hear that? Back to that F. So, so you got. So you can do that movement. That's a D, E flat, B flat on top of this, A flat, and then go to an A flat major chord, C, E flat, A flat. Then you can go down to the E flat major, again, different inversion. Then you're going to go back to that F major on top of an A, back to the B flat. And this here, it's pretty much the same thing. The second time, though, you just go to the suspended chord. Well, I say suspended, but you can you can play an A flat major. You just do the four right there, right? And then you go right back. Same thing as the first time. Back to the five. Take it out. When you, uh, when you take it out, what you can do is go back to that. See what I did? So you can go, uh, go back to that six. You can do that six. I'm playing a C, playing a B flat major in my right and a C in my left. Then to that diminished on the E. Right. And right there they do a Ah, I moved too fast. Do it again. I told y'all I just learned this song. <laughs> Trying to get this time in here. I'm gonna catch her here in a minute. So what they actually do right there So we bless your name What that is is Basically you're, basically, you're walking up to an E from a C. But in your bass, you need to go to that C when you, once you get to that E and you're falling into a chord. G, uh, C major chord, right? Da 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 da. Diminish on the D. A flat, B flat. I mean, A flat, B, D, F. 
E, B flat, C sharp, E G. Back to that F minor. Play the same thing right there. Go back to the top. Sorry about that. Same thing as the top. Now right there they do go. that change G C E so right th they do do that little move right there uh, uh, so all, all you do on that G just hit a E flat major chord and then go to the B major B flat major chord on that C Same thing as the top. Uh, now they do something different right here. So let's get to it. So. My apologies. So right there they 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 go uh so play a uh C C sharp in your bass. Playing a C sharp major seven, C sharp F A flat C. Then all I'm doing, I'm I'm playing E flat major chords on these changes, right? C sharp B flat G F C A. Then you're going back to the five in the bass. See what I'm doing there? A lot of the deeper things you may hear going on in this song is just it sounds complicated because of all of the synthesizers and the, the strings and all the other stuff. Uh, and then they have, you know, they alter notes on top of the piano and it makes it sounds, uh, you know, like a lot more going on than what's really going on. And so that's why doing something simple like that works right here so i hit this inversion then i do another inversion on the g b flat e flat g then i go to this f minor nine then a flat major chord on the c f major chord on the a then if i hit a f i can i can do this diminished sharp a c before i get to the five so or i can just stay on that a you know on the l and go to the five so but once we get to this part Basically, the working part. They're just gonna keep modulating. Same thing we did earlier. Do 
that again. Same thing. We got to change. Now you're in the key of E, right? You just change. Uh, F sharp, you can play this uh, diminished chord. It's an F sharp diminished seven. It's an E flat, F sharp, A C. Then go to a C sharp major chord. Then an F sharp major chord on top of an F sharp. Stay on that F sharp major chord. Go to the B flat. And then you end up in the five on the five in the key of E, right? One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna do the same thing we were doing in the key of E flat, but now we're just in the key of E. But that transition is uh Same thing, B major chord. Then you can do this uh, E major chord. I'm, still play, I'm just playing the E major chord, but I'm adding the two on top of this A flat. Then here I did an E nine on the E, I'm playing a D F sharp A flat B. Then or here's what I was doing in the key of, of E flat, so I can do now and do it in this key. This key. That transition this time you're gonna hit a C sharp and then you walk up then you go to a G diminished seven on the G so you got an E F F sharp falling to this chord then go to a D major chord on a D then to a G major chord stay on the G major chord on that B 
and now you play C, which is the five of the key of F. One, two, three, four, five. So, so then you're gonna break. Okay, let me get you, give you what they do right here. So, break. So, so after you get to the key to the C of F, you're gonna. After that break, playing a B flat, a E, B flat, C in my right. But then you, you walk down, right? So you you go to an F major chord. Then it's diminished chord. Top of a G. C sharp, A, E, G, B flat. Hear them go. So, again, this is one of those things you may do if you got an extra musician playing with you, somebody else playing keys. Other than that, you can just, you know, just play the chords and keep moving, right? just do that you know but what they're doing that's that's what that um, sounds like a uh, chime kind of thing right they're going e f e f c a g to go to this chain then back to the five Right there, they do another change. So what they do right there, so they basically play a, you can play this A major chord to a, C major chord on top of a G or a D, or you can do this diminished chord E G B flat C sharp to the to the same chord on top of a D. Then, but you got to go right back to that G chord for that transition, either either on top of a B or on top of a G. Back to the five. Transition again. Whole different type of change. I don't know why. They, you know, they tried to make this as complicated as possible, I guess. So this one. This change you're walking down, so you, so you're gonna go. This time you're gonna be on the D, right? After we come out of that, after you go. But this time you're gonna walk down, starting with a B flat. So that that walk down, B flat, 
chromatic walk down a a flat g but your right hand play this diminished a diminished seven e flat f sharp a c then a b flat major on top of that a then a g e flat major on top of that g then you go back to a a flat major chord Because now we're going to be in the key of F sharp. And C sharp is the 5. You can do that. So all I did was once I got to the A flat major, I stayed on the A flat major when I played the C. Then I played the 5 in the key of F sharp, which is a C sharp major chord. that right there I'm playing a uh, C sharp major on top of an L sharp back to the change a flat major chord on the c because you're going back to the five and watch this again a little bit more a little bit more complicated stuff that transition right there chords are you're gonna have a f b flat e flat a flat e flat a flat c back to the five the chord a c sharp e flat a flat so f7 sharp nine sharp five then you go to this diminished on top of this b flat a flat b d f then to an e flat you got a c sharp e g flat then you got a a flat minor chord back to that same e flat seven uh, e, a c sharp e g b flat e flat and then you're gonna go back to the a but this time you go back to an a flat major because you're gonna transition back to the five so you can play that a flat major then the c the c e flat f and then you're back to your five so you have
more time. Same thing over right here. You got a five to the three to the one. And your uh and your uh left hand. But you're just playing a C sharp major chord. Then you play F sharp major chord on the three. And I'm playing this transition chord, F sharp, E, A flat, B flat, E flat. Think. Hold up. Oh yeah, they just playing the four, which is a B major chord. C, D, D major chord. Then you take it out. Now when they take it out, I just do a C sharp major chord on an F and an E flat major chord on a G. I'll show you. Right here. See that? So I play a C sharp major chord on an F, E flat major chord on a G, and then go to this A flat minor chord. Go back to the top. So you're going play a B major chord. Then you play a, a, a C sharp major chord on top of an F. Then they got this last little move. right there is a so you gotta in your in your bass you're gonna do a b b flat e flat a flat back to the e flat to a f to a b flat last note is a b in your right hand and when you hit this Flat, I mean A flat minor chord. You can sneak that that E that E in there quickly. So you got so you got so. On that E flat, you play a B B major chord. Playing B, C sharp, E flat, F sharp. Then I'm playing a C sharp major chord, but I'm adding the two. C sharp, E flat, F A flat on top of an F. Then I kind of walk this B flat B to, into this F sharp major chord on top of that B flat. And then the last chord. Last chord. I'm just playing this suspended chord. F sharp, B, C sharp. whole song like I said uh, they did a lot of movement a lot of stuff in there uh, that just 
in my opinion, <laughs> sometimes we overcomplicate some stuff, uh, especially when it comes to worship. I think worship should be simple in nature. But there you have it. I uh, hope you guys uh, are able to gleam off of that to learn this particular song. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And uh, you guys be blessed. And I will see you in the next video. Again, that was Adoration by Stephen Manders. God bless you.